Well, hello there, fellow geeks and geekettes, and welcome to yet another video. And today I'd like to briefly talk about naivety and why you shouldn't trust huge corporations. Why should you? So this video is concerning Ed Brubaker, the co-creator of the character of Winter Soldier. But he isn't really, is he? Because Winter Soldier is Bucky Barnes, right? And Bucky Barnes had been around before that. He's been around for many decades already. But... What Ed Brubaker did, he updated the character, gave him a new updated background uh, for the more modern audience, right? But yeah, he did that, and uh, in this this article says um, that in an interview with Kevin Smith on his podcast called called Fat Man Beyond, he said that he said uh, um, earning more from his MCU cameo than from co-creating the Winter Soldier or the updating. Uh, updated version of Winter Soldier. Now, if I find it, I shall provide a link to the podcast as well as to the uh, article from which I'm reading right now. And he basically says that, uh, I'm quoting now, being a co-creator of the Winter Soldier, I should not have to worry about providing for my wife, remarked Brubaker. There's nothing preventing anyone at Marvel from looking at how much the Winter Soldier has been used all, uh, in all this stuff and calling me up and Steve Epting, who is also a co-creator, and saying, you know what, we're going to try to adjust the standard thing so uh, that you uh, guys feel good about this. Uh, he's talking about the fact that it was a work for hire and it has been a fact for a long time that many creators and co-creators of various characters and facts in comic books well, they haven't been really given that much money, or as much money as they would like to get, right? Um, he also said, I knew what I was getting into, and I'm not unhappy with my life, or what, or that I wrote this thing, says Brubaker. I loved working at Marvel, I had a great time there, but at the same time, I also feel like, you know, be a little bit more generous, like invite us to the after party. All right. Uh, so, from what he said, I understand that he expected Marvel, the huge corporation that is owned by Disney, even bigger, monstrous corporation, he, ex he expected them to be his friends. Well, sorry to burst your bubble, Ed. I mean, you are a very good writer. I do admit that. Ed Brubaker is a tremendously talented comic book writer. I love many of his comic books. But in this interview, he really seems to be extremely naive. And that is the trend these days. All these creators, it's mainly the lefties, uh, they are defending these huge corporations like Disney and Marvel and DC Comics and Warner Brothers. They are defending these huge corporations and they are bitching and bashing uh, YouTubers and independent creators and independent publishers, the true independent publishers, like uh, All Caps Comics, that is, you know, basically Ethan Van Skyver, and they are creating and publishing and selling their own comic books on their own through uh, crowdfunding campaigns, and they are fulfilling the orders themselves, sending away the comic books to the customers, and they always have great experiences, and the fans love it, but the supporters of the huge corporations, they just you know, they don't, don't like this and they bitch about them and they make up all those crazy different lies and stories about Ethan Van Skyver and uh, Richard C. Meyer and uh, other, other um, independent writers and artists. And why? So you are defending these corporations like Marvel and Disney and then they fuck you over again and again and again. And they make you starve sometimes. I don't think Ed Brubaker is starving. I think he's very well off, but there are people who have been hired by Marvel, by DC, and uh, they are not ashamed to admit on the internet that they are basically poor, that they don't make much money at all. So if you are creative, if you are uh, well skilled, you can make your own product and we know that it pays off to do crowdfunding campaigns today and to be truly independent from all the freaking corporations like Disney, Marvel, Lucasfilm. And you will even make more money. You will make much more money. So fuck those corporations. 
And if you want to write Spider-Man, if you want to write Batman because you want to write these characters, because you love these characters, why not? Yeah, do, do, do try to do that. But please don't expect Marvel, don't expect Disney, don't expect DC Comics, don't expect Warner Brothers, don't expect any huge corporations to be your friend and to care about you, to give a damn about you. No, these corporations do what they should do. They should care about money, they should care about profit, because they are huge corporations. But this is nothing new, this is nothing bad, this is nothing negative. Huge corporations have always cared about money, but this is what they should do, this is their goal. They should make money, and they, you know, they fuck people over again and again. So, you can either do this, or you can support independent creators, like Ethan Van Skyver, which I do. I have backed many of his campaigns, and um, I have thoroughly enjoyed each and every of his comic books. I don't buy any Marvel comics, I don't buy any DC comics, new, I mean, I buy the old collected editions, or I mean, like, republished collected editions of the old stuff, because this is what I enjoy, this is what I love to read, but the new stuff, whose quality has gone down progressively, to the, not even to the ground, below ground. It's shit. It's every single contemporary mainstream comic book that, that comes out is fucking awful and they charge a shit ton of money for it. They insult fans on the internet. They are racists. They are awful people. So why should I support them? No, not at all. Thank you very much indeed. I would rather support Comics Gate, which I, you know, do agree with. Um, yeah, so yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you think, if you agree with me, or if your opinions differ in any way. Bye.